your girl Tyra Crush back with another review and this time it is for The Oval on BET. If you haven't already, please hit my subscribe button down at the bottom. Thank you so very much and listen, I don't know how much more of this show I can take. It's just dry, 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 desert conditions. It's not fun to watch like what is going on with this series like okay i'm gonna cover it it might take me three minutes because nothing happened today um but things happened it was just very boring okay so we open up with donald and cal and and they're talking about nothing of course they're just basically talking about um the the goings on um Donald did tell Cal about Victoria and Eli getting busted in the Oval Office doing the Humpty Dance. And he sent Cal on his way. They, they discussed Jason, still haven't found him. Cal says that he thinks he was close to the White House, but not quite in the White House. And so that the hunt for Jason is still on. Takes us to Alan's apartment where he runs into Jason. Jason is at Alan's apartment. Why he always wants to break into Alan's place, I don't know. But he's there and he's acting all, you know, damsel and distressy. Like nobody cares that you're scared. Nobody cares that you're hungry, Jason. You like to SA females. Jason, you like to kill the females after you SA them. Nobody cares about your wants and your needs and your fears right now, bro. Like, to just put yourself on Allen like this is crazy. Like you just really, like you even tried to kill him once. Like, is there anything happening in between those ears of yours? In the head? I don't think so. But, you know, Alan's telling Jason he can't be there. He's like, why not? I don't think they'll find me here. You're stupid. You know three places in D.C. They're going to find you. Um, and as they're talking, you know, Dale is on the couch sleep. He's like, I don't like him being here. Excuse me. This is not your place. Who cares what you like if he's there or not? Nobody cares. Right? Nobody cares. So Dale sleep. He wakes up. Um, and you know, Alan is telling him, you know, Jason's here. Um, and he's like, Jason, the first son. Oh, I got to go. So he's like, he's trying to leave. Alan's like, no, I need you to go in the kitchen and fix him something to eat. Excuse me? That's not your woman. How you just going to ask this man to fix another man something to eat? He can go fix himself something to eat. I know you got some noodles in there because you're a bachelor. Have him go fix himself something to eat. But Dale was like, no, I'm out of here. I'm leaving. He opens the door. Who's standing there? Cal with his long head is. What does Cal want? Cal wants Dale, of course. But wasn't Cal just talking to Donald? Never mind. He's there. He wants to know why Cal is not, um, Cal's there. He wants to know why Dale is not in his place. Dale's like, I was on my way over there, but here you are, which was a lie. Um, I don't know if Dale was going over there or not. Now they were trying to get him to go over there and, you know, basically get information on Cal. Cal was about to assume that Dale and Alan was messing around. Which Alan ain't came out, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't go both ways. I, I just wouldn't be surprised. But um, nothing of the sort, but Cal did leave with Dale. And by the time they got out, I guess Jason heard Cal's voice and he skedaddled. So he is no longer in Alan's apartment. Alan doesn't know where he is. And then we see that Alonzo went to see Priscilla to give her an update so apparently they're working together so he tells her about you know everything that's happening in the white house especially the eli and victoria part but you know they got caught doing the humpty dance in the oval office and so she's taking on all the information and i don't know i just don't like alonzo he can like he can definitely be sacrificed this season as far as i'm concerned i do not like that boy um so priscilla takes the information that he gave her along with but he also said that the DEA's wife is is basically going to be telling on the DEA the DEA there, there's a DEA agent that apparently Victoria is sleeping with as well and he is the one that helped her orchestrate you know giving Hunter the drugs to OD on so I guess Alonzo went and picked up the wife to take her to Hunter. 
So he tells Priscilla all this information and he leaves. Priscilla gets right on the phone with Simone to tell her, look, your husband was sleeping with Victoria tonight. She's like, he what? He did what? Oh my God, are you serious? I'm going to kill him. You can't do that. You have to keep it cool. Play it cool. See me, don't tell me nothing. Don't tell me nothing until I can say something because I ain't going to be quiet. I can't be quiet. Uh -uh. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something immediately. I'm going to be like, girl, I ain't going to say nothing. As soon as you come back, I can't believe you. <laughs> so Priscilla done told her, you know, act like you want to get you some. Get close enough to him see if you can smell her own. You know, smell her own him. So she did that. And he definitely was not trying to have sex with her because his balls was empty. So he denied her, told her he, he had a long day and he wants to go upstairs and take a shower. And that was the end of that. So she's just all in her feelings. It, it, it's true. He did it. It's true. Yeah, girl, now what you gonna do? Wait till it goes sleep, slice this thing off. That's what you do. Slice it off. Just, just cut it off, girl. He made vows to you, not to the first lady, okay? I give you permission. Okay, and Nancy shows up at Priscilla's house upset because y'all know last week Richard went all the way off on her now see I didn't review last week because I had a family emergency but last week Richard and brought his father to the house to basically interrogate his father to see if his father was gonna keep it real with him and he told his father he knew about the affair his father tried to say it only happened one time and he was like that's a lie I know it happened more than once because she told me he said man you told her Nancy you told him yeah, Nancy told him. Now Nancy got her conscience clear, honey. And now Nancy ain't got no husband because her husband don't even want her no more. He called her a nasty bee. I was like, Richard. She smacked the dogs out of him, though, didn't she? She made him taste the inside of her hand. But I don't really feel like she should have done that even. I mean, yes, he called you a nasty bee, but honey, you opened them legs up to his father. I mean, I think that would pretty much define it if you was to look up the definition of a nasty bee, it would probably say someone that would sleep with someone's father after she's married to him. That's probably gonna, it's gonna be right in there. It's a nasty thing to do. So now Nancy is staying with Priscilla. Um, we saw that coming a mile away, but she won't, she's basically not gonna go home until Richard wants her to come home, which we don't know if that's ever gonna happen. But she did get a call from the bar. Richard went down there and started drinking his problems away. And I guess the bar owner wanted her to come and pick him up. And so she, in turn, called Sam and asked Sam to go get him. And told Sam that to let him know that she wasn't coming home so that he would go home. Because he wouldn't go home any other way. So that was that. Um, so we did see Sam and Max. They had a conversation Max let Sam know that Bobby let the Raku gentleman go after they got everything that they could out of him, which I don't understand why Sam wouldn't... No, let me take that back. I don't understand why the writers wouldn't have Sam go and question the guy about Barry. Because we still don't know what Barry is. Where is Barry? Well, we know we... We know Barry's dead. But they don't know he's in the landfill. So I don't know how long that storyline is going to go on because Richard did bring up Barry again. And to no avail, nobody knows what Barry is. Um, we did see Donald and Lily with the, more of the same in their scene. I hate you. I hate you more. I hate you even more. No, I hate you more than you hate me. No, it's impossible. I hate you the most. So they had their back and forth as usual. Um, he threatened her because she let the officer go. She let him go scot-free last week um, after, of course, putting the agents down, which I don't know why she needed to sleep out the door with him. Like, what she should have done was leave out the door with him and wouldn't secure her own family. Like, I don't understand. I'm not staying with somebody that's threatening myself and my family and, 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 and is gay and, and doesn't really want to be with me. He's just going to force me to stay with him for the public image. Mm -mm, ain't going to happen. You're going to have to kill me, sir. I'm ready. Let's go. I don't have any children. Let's go. Because that's what it would be for me. I'm mm -mm. Not I said the fly. 
And so as they're talking, of course, Victoria calls Donald wanting his help because she's been locked out of the residence because Hunter is not dealing with her at all. He has locked her out. She is having to sleep in a guest room. And Donald is pretty much like, deal with it. You the one that decided you wanted to sleep with the vice president in the Oval Office. And you the one got busted by your husband. So you deal with it. And she was like, who are you talking to? He's talking to you, ugly. He's talking to you, okay? Um, <laughs> we do see Alonzo bring the DEA agent to Hunter. We see Hunter question her. We see her throw herself at Hunter. Pew, nobody likes Hunter. Why are you telling him he's he's attractive? He's not attractive. There's nothing attractive. He is a, he's trash. He's as much trash as your husband is treated on you with the first lady. But she explains to him that her and her husband are going through some things and she will tell him whatever she wants, he wants to know. She will also do whatever he wants her to do. And I'm like, E, why would you throw yourself at him? That's nasty. Mm -mm. Gather yourself, lady. Gather yourself. That's nasty. He probably got something. Ugh. But you, if you like it, I love it. But she let him hear a recording of Victoria and her husband speaking about the drugs, about the fentanyl that she wanted the cocaine laced with. And he was like, thank you. He's like, he asked her, when she said she would do anything for him, he told Alonzo, give me your gun. I'm like, if you ask Alonzo for his gun one more time this season, like seriously. But he asked Alonzo for the gun. Alonzo gives him the gun. And at this point, why don't you just take the clip out when you go in the office? Like, when you go in his room, empty your gun. Make sure nothing's in the chamber. Because you know this man is unhinged, okay? So, Alonzo gives him the gun. And he tries to hand it to her. And he was like, I want you to go down the hallway to where my wife is sleeping. And I want you to walk in the room and I want you to blow her brains out. She's like, I can't do that. That's too much. It's I can't do that. It's too much. So... For whatever reason. Um, she said no. He said thank you anyway. Sent her on her way. And she said, well, let me know if you need me. So I know that he's probably going to be screwing her before the season is out. And he called in the previous agents from, uh, from the previous administration because he doesn't trust any of the Secret Service agents. He thinks everybody is in on the plot to try to kill him. And so he called in a former agent and he told that agent that he wanted that agent to go down to his wife's room and arrest her for attempted assassination of the president and he also wants Eli arrested for attempted assassination of the president I said well that's a pretty good cliffhanger I'll take that one because that's going to change some things now what's going to really happen because we do see Simone berating Eli next week like she knows he done slept with the with the with the first lady and she's basically going in on him he's denying it um i'm hoping things heat up next week because again this was a very very boring episode as have been the other however many this season um i'm hanging in there because y'all hanging in there with me but i'm gonna tell y'all it's very hard to continue to review this show i need something else to pop off i need something exciting to happen and it's just not giving what it's supposed to give so I'm going to end my review right there. I don't think I missed anything because, again, not much happened. But if you haven't already, please hit my subscribe button down at the bottom. Thank you so very much. And if you are not the subscribing type, you know what? You got to the end of this video. And that's more than I can ask of anybody. So thank you. And that is my $5.02. Peace.